heart attack is most commonly caused by a sudden obstruction of the oxygenated blood supply to part of the heart muscle, such as when there is a blockage in one of the coronary arteries. If the heart does not receive oxygenated blood, part of the heart muscle will die and impact on its ability to function properly. There is real risk that the heart will stop beating. The severity of the attack will depend on where the blockage occurs. Many people who die after having a heart attack could be saved if someone recognised the early warning signs and called for professional help as soon as possible. The recognition signs and symptoms. Central vice-like chest pain. Possible pain down left arm or in jaw. Breathlessness. A rapid or irregular pulse. Rapid breathing and a shortness of breath. Pale blue-grey cold and clammy skin. Nausea and vomiting. Sense of doom. Let's now look at the treatment. As you come to the initial assistance of your casualty, you should assist the casualty to rest and reduce the pressure on the heart. The ideal position for a casualty suffering from a heart attack is known as the half sitting position or the W position. You should support the casualty to the floor, bend their knees and support their head and back. If available, place something underneath their knees to support them in this W position. You should monitor the casualty's airway and breathing at all times and loosen any clothing. Calm and reassure the casualty and call 999 for an ambulance as soon as possible. If the casualty becomes unresponsive and unconscious and is not breathing normally, then you should carry out basic life support procedures. So, in summary, often confused with indigestion, but never again. Take action as every minute counts. Reduce pressure on the heart. Dial 999. Be prepared to provide basic life support. You can administer aspirin if you are sure your casualty is not allergic. Any doubt, do not administer.